guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you today we're gonna be sharing tips to keep your life organized and if you do enjoy this video definitely subscribe to this channel because I share married college student content on here and without further ado let's just jump right on into this video so I have seven things I'm going to talk about and I'll just get started with number one, plan your month, week, and days out. And I know that some people don't operate like this, so if you don't want to go all the way down to your days, that's fine. But I like to sit at the beginning of the month and plan out what my month is going to look like, if we're going on any trips, if I have any bigger things going on that I don't normally do that are out of the normal, birthdays, things like that. And then I go by week. So normally I plan my week on Sunday or Monday or Saturday, just on a weekend day. And I will go through and plan when I'm going to accomplish things. If I need to have a day devoted to this class to do homework for, then I'll say this is a day for homework. This is a day to make content for social media. And I designate days to have different focuses, which kind of leads me into the second one, have daily focuses. <laughs> And for me, this is absolutely essential because my mind is just running a mile a minute with all the different things that I have to do. So I have three daily focuses that help me at least not feel overwhelmed. Typically one of my daily focuses is to practice for my voice and guitar lessons. Then maybe a second focus would be homework and a third focus could be tidying up the house and those would be my three daily focuses for the day so whatever that looks like for you i feel like it's good to have that direction so you're not overwhelmed with an enormous amount of things that you need to do that's something that i at least do and it works for me number three is have a central place for information this has to do with if you live with multiple people if you live alone this really doesn't pertain to you but for us and this is something my mom did and i've always had this growing up is we have a whiteboard in our house where we write everything so the family knows what's going on and if you don't know then you're in trouble because you didn't look at the whiteboard so alec and i have a whiteboard and i write things that we need to accomplish together things that he needs to get done things that i need to get done Maybe if we need to go buy something specific, like the other day we needed hangers, stuff like that, we write on the whiteboard so that we have this central piece in our home of information in case we are just not on the same page. It keeps us in sync. <laughs> Number four is give yourself brain breaks, which I'm super bad at doing. I'm always thinking about what I need to do next. However, it's absolutely essential for your sanity <laughs> to have brain breaks, whether that is just watching something to get your mind to stop thinking, or if you like to go out in nature, something like that. I have a rest day once a week, so I try to do something that will give my brain a break <laughs> on those rest days. So I highly recommend incorporating that into your weekly or even daily life number five give each day to the lord because he is the author of time and productivity and what is so crazy to me and i've actually had this happen in my life before where i've been overwhelmed and stressed and not sure if i'm going to get everything done and somehow when i give all of my worries to jesus I get all of those things done and I feel so much peace about it and I have to remind myself that he literally can make time feel slower to us and we can get so much stuff done so I've definitely had that happen to me before and I recommend 
just as a daily practice with your relationship with God, giving him the cares and worries that you have in this world and letting him carry those things because that's what he's meant to do. Number six, do a quick tidy of your space every morning. And this really helps me mentally when I do a quick tidy of our apartment because, and I'm sure you've heard this before, when my house is not clean, then my brain is cluttered. So that's why I need to have some sort of tidying time, whether it's just 10 or 15 minutes, just so that I can feel free and feel like I have space and not feel cluttered and overwhelmed and all of those bad things. So I recommend doing that in the morning just to get your day started right. And lastly, number seven, do something extra each week to take care of yourself. And this is also something that I have to plan out and make a to-do list item for me because I don't remember. So one of the things I did today for myself is I actually fake tanned probably doesn't look like it but i did fake tan because i've been looking completely white like paper and we're about to get into spring so i need to start looking a little bit tanner but something like that and even if you do have to plan those things out and you can't just magically find time to do them naturally that's totally fine but i feel like it's important not to neglect ourselves Another thing that I try to do that is good for me is I try to work out three times a week or maybe even four if I'm feeling really good. <laughs> and I think that's something that I can do for myself and for my own health rather than always doing things for other people, for other classes or for your employers or something like that. It's good to actually do things for yourself at least once a week I would say so that's the end of this video I hope that you guys actually enjoyed it and actually have something that you're gonna implement in your life and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me cuz I'd love to do those for you and I will see you guys next Friday bye guys